bad kid, a really bad kid, you are a bad kid, you're such a bad kid, you are a bad kid, a really bad kid, you are a bad kid, you're such a bad kid, you are a bad kid, a really bad kid, you are a bad kid, you're such a bad kid, you are a bad kid, a really bad kid, your mom must be so mad at you are a bad kid, a really bad kid, you are a bad kid, you're such a bad kid, you are a bad kid. So we're here in beautiful Sayreville, New Jersey, at the Starland Ballroom to see the band the bad kids like, Guar. What the fuck is up, Jersey? We're gonna meet Guar and the crew behind their amazing stage show. Let's go check it out. Okay, so I'm here with the two surgeons behind Guar. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, and you, you are Matt McGuire. Matt McGuire yeah. and Bob Gorman. Yep. And so, so show me, sh show me some of these costumes here. This is this is Flatus Maximus. Flatus Maximus. He's, he's one of the guitar players. He's got the uh, dinosaur motif going. He's got like triceratops shoulder pads and uh, Bob mostly. He did most of the work on this one. And mm -hmm. I did the head, he did the pretty much all the rest of it, right? And, then, and <laughs> this, this is Jismac. Jismac yeah, Degusha. When I first saw him, I noticed he bore resemblance to Gary Oldman's character in Bram Stoker's Dracula from busted. the very beginning. Yes, <laughs> and, and definitely that. busted. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, I always love that outfit. So he's supposed to be wearing a bunch of like stakes, kind of, uh, mm -hmm. kind of uh, riveted together, but I definitely, he didn't have quite as defined a stake meat pile on the old shoulder pads, so I definitely use that as, as an influence. So. Very cool. What, what's this over here? I, I noticed that you got, you got half a baby here, yeah, and he there's gets, like a baby, gets, it's like... He gets ripped in half, uh -huh. he preps them with blood bags, mm -hmm. and then before he rips them apart, he squeezes them all, and then rips them open, mm -hmm. and, and blood and guts okay. come out. Well, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, well, it's, yeah. it's really good. Yeah. It's a screaming it's baby. Screaming baby. Was, this is everyone's favorite, the Ballsack, ball sack yeah. of death. Is ever, everyone knows that. These two are really the most iconic besides yeah. odorous. Yeah. Um, all it really is is it's elastic, and then it's on a hinge right here. So when he when he bounces it around, it gives it that little bit of spring. When I when I first saw it, I had this whole thing in my mind how I thought it worked, uh -huh. and that, that's it's it was made way more complicated than that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, no, <laughs> so it's I was like, like, well, he probably well, just keeps his head to the side, well, and there's people, a thing that when he turns his head, that makes the jaws open. Yeah, I've, I mean, it's got to be it. People always ask me how I do the legs. Yeah, and they say, how do you get his legs to bend backwards like that? And it's the simplest thing in the world. His leg is perfectly straight. straight yeah, I just draw two lines and it went. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, that's it. That's it. And I imagine everything is just totally fucking filthy every oh, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everything. I mean, is in just... fact, we go through like probably a month before people even really start cleaning their stuff out and oh. taking it out, you know, taking it out to get. It's washed. almost just like, yeah, why bother? Yeah. All right, so now this, and this is odorous. Yeah. I was looking at this earlier. There's just so much shit here yeah. that you just pile onto fucking Dave. Yeah, he's got the mask and mm -hmm. and then he's got the pads, but he also has the gloves, so he's mm -hmm. got some demony looking. Mm -hmm. Hands. Odorous. Do Dr. Odorous. Eh? Um, did you happen to catch the presidential debate last night? No, no, no. I was far too busy rocking the house with a big show. I know what happened. Uh, McCain looked like a blinking, doddering old fool, and uh, Barack was just oh so smooth. I, I don't know if they hold elections on your planet, but uh, here on Earth, uh, at least in the United States of America, we do kind of. And I want to know if you were going to be endorsing any particular... Yes, uh, you humans out there, <clears throat> if you do get a chance to vote, go ahead and vote for Obama. It'll be funny to see what uh, effect a uh, black person running things has. Things can't get any worse. We might as well let black people run things. <laughs> I just wanted to ask you, Odorous. Um, so I, I recall seeing you when I was uh, just a wee boy on the Jerry Springer show. Oh, are you trying to tell me how old I am? No, yeah. no, no, no. Everyone's always, oh, sure. I, I saw you when I was five years old. You must be at least 85 million. It's true, I'm 45 million years old. And that's considered something of a spring chicken in outer space. So so when you were on the Jerry Springer show, you were there with um, uh, El Duce. Who has I was there with passed. El Duce, yes. So I want to know, uh, looking back, um, do you feel that you treated El Duce fair? Or do you wish that maybe Sol Solmenstra was a little nicer to him? Oh, no. Or are, like, you happy, are you El happy Duce with that? El Duce was a great friend of ours. and. Uh, 
he was always treated very well. Uh, I, one thing that people don't understand about El Duce is that on the Jerry Springer show, and he's talking about all the crazy things. All that is true. There was a line of sex slaved uh, nubiles waiting for him outside of every dressing room door. He was very attractive to young women. Very yeah. attractive. He's an attractive man. That's what scared uh, scared their parents so much because mm -hmm. they were attracted to him as well, and they were right. afraid that they would be uh, enjoying a nice reach around and it would run into their daughter. Right. Okay. There's a lot of um. I I I am pretty irritated about all the uh, the Guar imitators, here, such as uh, Slipknot or Lordy, because I think I think they're pretty fucking gay, and I just wanted to get your um uh, your um. Well, you know, you have to just kind of give them credit for what they're doing. Guar is trying to be a cool, awesome, uh, heavy metal uh, band, a kind of a destructive force, and uh, they're trying to be gay. Right. And they're succeeding right. very well. They've succeeded in being gay, and uh, I guess part of being gay means selling lots of records and making lots right. of money. Yeah. So that's something that they've done through their gayness. Mm -hmm. They're incredible. Yeah. Uh, dick bending gayness. Yes. Uh -huh. I mean, they would suck the gayness out of uh, Truman Capote right. and Charles yeah. Nelson Riley and uh -huh. Rip Taylor combined. Uh -huh. Charles Nelson Riley, Paul Lind, Graham Chapman, and uh, Marcel Proust together could not match. The gayness that Slipknot has in one pinky. Right. Can I hold the cuttlefish yeah. of uh, Cachula? Okay. There you go. Yeah. This is this is actually the uh, the third uh, foam rubber dick we've had on the show. So <laughs> I'm just gonna you know we were over well, at Troma. Real. Oh, okay. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Very so cool. Then, uh... So there's a uh, a new Gore album in the works. It's fucking awesome. Uh, we're about nine songs into it. A tentative entitled Lust in Space, and uh, we've got about nine songs. And they're pretty fucking kick-ass, I must say. So I'm looking for the new Guar album to continue with the heavy musings, the heavy uh, muddle, I like to call it. People are like, Odorous, what do you call your music? I like to call it heavy muddle. It's like metal, but more muddled. Very good. Heavy muddle. This next Guar album is going to be like every other Guar album ever, except the tracks that sucked, all smushed together. Right, very good. Well, Dr. Urungus, I must say, Guar is truly a band that the bad kids like. So I just wanted to thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, that's one thing. Yeah, definitely play, play a great show. You and, can, um, uh, you can you say know. that about Guar. Guar definitely is a band. We definitely are. Okay. And they Very didn't good. used to say that. Right. Oh, no. Thank you. I don't know why you're calling me doctor, but I liked it. Okay, well. Uh, oh. <laughs> Farewell, humans. All right, guys, let's do this shit. <laughs> Can I, can I wear the um yeah, the, the, yeah, the beefcake? Yeah, yeah. Still a little wet. There's a little bit smelly. of makeup still in there. Oh, it's totally wet. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Oh, it smells so bad. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah. I could not imagine playing an entire show with this on. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Oh yeah, you can. They're pretty good. <laughs> it's heavy and smelly yeah. and uh, you know, very different. And that's uh, yeah. that's four. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Heavy and smelly. <laughs> Can we, can we go look at the others, the, yeah. the other, the other yeah. stuff that's what special for this tour? Heaven and hell, your life and your death. Everything's the same. You have no power. I'm in Santa Claus's workshop right now, <laughs> where I'm seeing all of the all of the the, the bits and pieces of of the Guar show. So obviously, you guys are doing something with McCain and Obama. Yes. yes. Right. Yeah. Can I